Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for December the 16th of 2020. Well, it is titled sonified the matter of the bullet cluster. So what do we see here? Well, this is a cluster of galaxies uh, known as the bullet cluster. And what happens when we look at material distant material through a cluster of galaxies is that the, the galaxies that are far beyond the cluster, their light becomes distorted as it comes through these. This is what we call gravitational lensing and is a prediction and a result of general relativity that the bending of light by gravity is a possibility. And we have detected that, detected that in many ways going back to detecting of the bending of sunlight, uh, starlight or coming near the limb of the sun during an eclipse uh, back in the earlier part of the 20th century. Now what we look at it here for is you know what is the problem with this cluster and one of the problems is that the bending of light that we see does not correspond to the amount of material that we see in the visible galaxies that are present. And we have found that in order to explain the bending that is seen there has to be far more material. And this is what we call dark matter which is some unusual type of matter not like ordinary matter so it's not made up of stars or planets or galaxies or anything like what we are used to but some different type of exotic material that only interacts through gravity. So it, it lends to the gravitational force of the cluster but does not give it any light and therefore called dark matter. Now that is one way to be able to explain the observations the bending of light. Another possibility is that our theory of gravity is not correct or is incomplete and does not work on all scales. So if general relativity does not work, then we could modify the theory of gravity to explain the this without the need for dark matter. So it is a competition between the two and the generally accepted consensus is that the that the dark matter is what is causing this that there is an exotic type of dark matter. But until more testing can be done to confirm uh, or give more credence to one over the other, there is still some uncertainty because we do know that there are problems with general relativity and that it does not work in all cases, especially when we get down to the quantum level, there are problems with general relativity not working. So we know that there must be something else that will eventually supersede it, but whether it would help with understanding the Matter here is another question. Now the other thing that we're looking here is that this is actually a video clip that I will play in a moment here. And what it shows is the uh, three different things. It'll show the galaxies themselves, the visible light. It will show the um, uh, the x ray emission from the hot gases, and it will show the dark matter. Now, the dark matter here is projected based on the bending of light that we see, and that's shown in blue. The redder colors are associated with hot gases, and we can see the visible light from all of the galaxies here. So, I'm going to play the video and let you listen to it because it is all converted to sound waves. So, the low tones, when you hear the low rumbling, it's, a, it's the dark matter. The middle range is visible light and the very high tones are the x-rays. So here you get a chance to kind of listen to what this galaxy cluster looks like in terms of the stars and galaxies, the dark matter and the cluster itself.
so you can see there all the different tones that are seen as we listen to this portion of the uh, uh, the galaxy kind of listening a way to listen to a galaxy and you can hear the major tones when you g get a specific star and that deep rumbling representing the dark matter. So it's another way to kind of think about a galaxy cluster like this. So that was our picture of the day for December the 16th of 2020. It was titled sonified the matter of the bullet cluster. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be meteor sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.